Hello Internet, and welcome back to Dark Diode, here with episode 6 of Mira Oni, the Village Demon. In the last episode, we were given a whole bunch of information regarding the mysterious entity, the Mira Oni, and how it's been terrorizing villagers for quite some time now. We also have no idea on how to stop this strange being from doing this. And so, without further ado, let's get right back into it with part 6 of Mira Oni. The village demon. So, last time we left off with these unknown notes sitting right here. So, now let's find out what they actually say. A list of amazing people. Let's see. Jill, Hiryu, Lauren, Luca, Manly. Eh, never heard of any of them. Oh, I guess that's the author referencing some of the people that obviously helped them with the development of Muraoni. Or at least friends, or something uh, that's impacted the game. I don't see Hikaru in there, therefore I'm not interested. Ooh, you're not interested in going anywhere without Hikaru, I see. So, what about here? No, it's locked. Okay. I doubt he's in the toilet, but... Hello, Hikaru! Ah, Tsubaki! Wait, what, he's in the toilet? <laughs> yeah, who else? Oh wait, no, I remember now. Um, the mum said that he was doing his hair. So, okay, she wanted us to go to the bedroom to wait for him, but I completely forgot about that, so we'll just go with it. Uh, I'm not ready yet, C could you wait in my room until I'm done? Uh, okay. Th thanks. Yep. Man, it's been so long since I last played this game. Actually, it hasn't been that long since I last played the game. Alright, I can't move. Well, all I have to do now is wait. Hmm. Okay. Uh, nothing interesting in this closet. Wait, what? Oh, I can open and close it. Uh, okay. It's Ikaru's super high-tech TV. It's Ikaru's... Oh, no, that isn't his high-tech TV. It's his buddy and picture frame and some books. Okay. Time marches on. Oh, what a cute teddy bear. It's Hikaru's super high-tech computer. Huh? It's Hikaru's diary. Should I? Well, I... I might as well know. <laughs> Why? Sorry, Hikaru. This is an invasion of privacy. But let's do it anyway. I'm interested. Today was another crappy day at school. I couldn't escape. I was teased relentlessly by everyone. Why couldn't they just leave me alone? During class, I would get paper balls and planes to the face. I could hear laughter all around me. My teachers didn't care. No one cared. Going to another school sucked. Suki, Subaki, and Daisuke would leave me to go to the local school. Wait, is that supposed to say would love me to go to the local school? I'm assuming that's supposed to say love, not leave. I'm happy they're having fun, but what about me? Initially, I thought that going to a boarding school with my ideal courses would be great. However, being isolated from my friends and family, it's the worst. I'm always being made fun of for living in a rural community. Why is this school so prejudiced? And why must I face it? Ooh, another entry. In 2011, okay, this is interesting. My problems are growing. Someone accused me of vandalizing the boys' locker room. That's not the first thing I've been accused of. Now everyone thinks I'm some kind of delinquent rebel. Not bad. I'm trying to show that I'm not. But people are using me like a scapegoat. Thus, everyone avoids me, and I can't make a single friend. They all stick together because they're all alike. They all live in the city, because they all have luxuries that our family can barely afford. As soon as you're a little bit different from the others, you're seen as a weirdo, an outcast. I miss the village. I miss my parents. I miss my friends. Today, I'm in shock. Myself. I actually resorted to punching someone in frustration. But I just became so fed up. This one person kept telling me to tend to my farm animals. What a douche. How shallow can one get? Of course, I got in trouble for punching him. Big trouble. The school even refused to acknowledge the fact that he brought up brought this upon himself. Why am I still going to this hell house? Is that supposed to say hell hole? Today I was it it hurt a lot. They said it was payback for punching his friend. 
It felt disgusting. What did I do? What? All I wanted was to see the world outside. Outside of the village, but I didn't know that this is what awaited me. Uh, if I... <laughs> I learned something. The world outside of the small village is cruel. It is relentless. It is much different than our always ecstatic village. I think I can only blame myself for what's been happening to me. I wasn't prepared to brave this outside world. I was always used to happy smiles, fun times, positive news and whatnot. How could I expect something horrible like this to happen? I never anticipated this kind of life outside the village because I had never been warned of it. I was naive. I was always taught the positives in life. However, the question is, was I really taught the negatives? Writing my diary is the only way I can feel some comfort, so I'll keep on doing this while my days at the school tick down. For the longest of time, I've been wanting to tell those close to me about my problems. I've wanted to. However, something kept stopping me from doing it. The people who abused me threatened to torment and hurt me on whole new levels if I were to tell anyone about my problems. However, that wasn't it. The thing stopping me. It felt like someone controlling me like a puppet. Preventing me from letting go of my secret. Though, honestly, I don't think telling anyone would solve my problems. Because... I feel like this experience will stick onto me forever. It's almost time to return to the village. I used to feel excited about returning, but after everything that's happened... I'm not sh so sure anymore. One thing's for sure though. I'm not going back to that poor excuse for a school. No matter how much I try, I can never stop this looming feeling of dread. It's been in my head ever since I returned from school. The entry sent girl. Ooh, okay. Um, so, it doesn't sound like what happened in the prologue of the game. Like, all the way back in part one, it didn't sound very good. These entries are from this year. I... I didn't know Hikaru was suffering this much. I knew something was bothering him, bothering him, but I didn't expect his problems to be this big. I'm sorry, Hikaru. I'm sorry I didn't notice. All this time, I've been throwing insults and side remarks at you. Without truly understanding what you went through back then. Why am I such an idiot? How'd you even endure all of that? Why didn't you say anything? I feel like I'm one of those bullies. And to think you call me a friend. Sorry, Hikaru. I didn't understand your situation. Huh? I think Hikaru's coming. This is gonna be an interesting conversation. Oh, hey, Hikaru. Um, I've just been patiently sitting here. Hey, Subaki. Uh, hey, Hikaru. Sorry, it took so long. In the end, I couldn't fix my hair. Looks just the same as it always been. So have you never fixed your hair? Not even water helped. I guess my hair's stuck like this. Isn't that what you get the gel for? Say, is something wrong? Your eyes look really bloodshot. Were... you crying? No, you, you misunderstand. Just my allergies acting up again. Oh man, I get that. Hay fever is a real bitch. Oh, um... Okay. Oh, right. Sibaki. I think it's time we start investigating this shadow. Y yeah Where do we start, though? Oh, yeah. Suki told me that she would look into it and see what info she could dig up. Since we know that things are only getting worse, we have to take care of this without causing too much panic. Don't you agree? Of course. Though, do you think that Suki can really get some info on whatever is happening? Of course. You shouldn't doubt my sis. I know her very well. She can get the job done. Right. I'm sorry for doubting her. Now let's do our best to help from now on, okay? Mm-hmm. Sorry, Hikaru. I know I just came over, but... Do you mind if we postpone this homework thing? I don't feel too well. I need... I need to talk to my parents. No problem. I'm glad we had this talk. I'm sure we can find an answer to all of this. I'm glad. Well, see you.
Oh man. Um. See, I wish we had an option to like read the diary to completely avoid all of this. Well, so we could have had a choice to avoid all of this, which would have made me feel even more guilty if I had have chosen to read it and to have discovered these truths. Did she read my diary? Oh, okay. We've got a save point. But now what? And we're back to Suki. Okay. After doing all the research, I feel like our hope is thinning. What do we do? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, out loud. That was too loud. Um, hey sis. Oh, Hikaru, come in. That face, man. <laughs> it's so creepy for that. Alright. So, how was your nap? Didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm sure the nap helped. <laughs> oh my god. Her eyes. Oh, don't worry. I slept well. She's not possessed, is she? Oh, I see. Suki, look, Suki looks like she's thinking about something. But what is she thinking about? Hmm. Um, hey, sis. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking about something? Yes. I'm just brainstorming ideas for my next poem. Oh, I see. Okay, this is really weird. Uh, can you tell me what you're really thinking about now? Huh? I I'm sorry. I went a little spacey there. These past few days, I've been thinking about... The village demon. Village demon? The village demon is the shadow we've been all seeing around town lately. Oh. Well, let me tell you what I know about the village demon. Okay. Oh, here we go. He's back. I told Hikaru all I knew about the village demon. The demon's powers, its origins as far back as historians could trace it, its victims. Everything, even Kasumi's experiences back when she was younger. Though it was a lot to tell and difficult to tell too, Hikaru gave me his undivided attention. He listened to my voice until its end. Ultimately at the end, I told him there was no solution just yet. Suki. That was impressive. I'm surprised you were able to gather that much info on the shadow. Thanks, Hikaru. I want to be able to solve this, so I'm pushing myself. Though, now that most of the pieces are together, it's kind of scary that this is all real and happening. The chain of deaths? That shadow a piece in itself? I didn't finish that sentence. Yeah. It's scary to think that anyone in the town could die. It just makes me worry. Worry that someone close to me will get taken away. Oh, is this foreshadowing? Oh, man. And if we don't come up with a solution soon, I'm afraid the chances of that happening will rise. More foreshadowing. What are we going to do? I'm really not sure. Though, I'm certain of one thing. It will give the shadow a tougher time by staying around others, so stay close to people. That will be our temporary workaround until I can figure something out. Oh, if only I had acted sooner. Fumiko almost fell into the hands of the village demon for heaven's sake. Suki. For now, let's tell the others about your research. Yes, I'll explain it all to Daisuke. You can tell Tsubaki. Here, give these to Tsubaki to supplement the explanation you'll give her. Obtain Suki's research. Oh, so we're playing the Sikadu. Okay. Thanks, sis. I... I'm sure that if fate uh, wanted us to get out of this, then fate would provide us with the answers. Everything will unravel eventually. I'm sure of it. Thank you, Hikaru. Well, I'm going to tend to Dad. He doesn't feel so well today. That's my sis. Always caring. 
Oh dear. Oh, that's got nothing to do. Jesus Christ, another, uh, save? Alright. That's fair enough. Act 4. Onsets and ordeals. Alright, we're just blazing through the acts so far. Remember when Act 1 was still fresh in my mind? It's you. Who's Arata? Are you here to kill me too? You've already killed my friend. That doesn't sound good. That that didn't sound good at all. The town's respite from the deaths was short-lived. Arata was found dead in his ha in his home. This happened a short while after filling every everyone in on the shadow. It was first assumed to be suicide until the townspeople linked the similarity of his death to the others who passed away. He wasn't the only one who died. There were a few others who fell before he did. It was difficult to accept. So, are we playing as Hikaru? Okay, time to walk on, walk on over to Tsubaki's house. I need to tell her about Suki's research. So wait, that thing... That murder that just happened, that's occurring after this. Because Suki's narration uh, included that we filled everyone in on what happened. So, I don't know. It's amazing how your friend was able to find Fumiko. God knows what could have happened to her if no one found her. Oh. Okay. Just a long transition. How you feeling, Dad? So, Dad, you feeling any better? Um, n not really. I still have this intense fever. Don't push yourself, yourself, Dad, okay? Ah, uh, I'll try not to. Mum went to get go get medicine for you, and she'll be back soon. You're such a hard worker. Managing to compile all that info on the shadow. You've done more than those stupid town officials have in a year. A hard worker, huh? That, that may be true, but will my efforts really pay off? I hope they do. I don't want everyone in this town to die. I don't, I don't want to walk the path of regrets. Okay. Hopefully Dad doesn't die, because that would be tragic. Who are you? Cade. i never seen Fumiko so happy. Another... Long transition, are we gonna go back to the dad scene? We are going to go back to the dad scene. Hanging there, I don't know how long it will take for mum to return. Don't worry, for sure, I'll endure. Though, I feel like my condition. I think it's escalating. Hmm, wonder if I can find anything around the house to slow it down. Don't worry so much, Suki. I will if your condition continues to escalate like this. I'm gonna get some wet rags to slow that- slow down that fever of yours. I'll be back. Okay, I'm not controlling that. My hands are off the keyboard right now. No, no problem. Okay. I feel like something bad's gonna happen, like the- The, uh, Muraoni is gonna show up. I'm leaving this crazy town. I don't wanna end up dead. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Please stay here. You'll be in danger if you leave. Shut up. Your attempts at scamming won't work. Haruka. Can we go into the shop? Sparky's house is where I need to go. Oh, wait. Is the Muraoni going to appear here? Being sick. I'm just putting such a burden on Suki and the others. If only I had a little more power. When will Aika return? Oh, I called it! I called it! I had a feeling. I called this, goddammit! No! <laughs> oh no! This is a save point too, why are there so many save points? I don't understand. Like, I... Okay, that's fine. Yo, Subaki, you there? Knock knock. Can I use your toilet now? Please? So, what did you want to talk about? 
Suki's done a ton of research and she asked me to tell you. I see. Finally some music as well. It's about time we figured out what this thing is. Turns out the problem is bigger than it seems. We're all in danger. I see. Well, about that shadow. Portrait of the shadow? Coming up? Nope, it's not. Th that's terrible! How is this shadow capable of so much? I don't know why this shadow has so much potential to destroy. Also, Suki asked me to give these notes to you. It's a complete copy of Suki's research. Take it. Handed Suki's research to Tsubaki. I wonder if we could have read that research on the way there. Ah, thanks. Can't believe all of this is happening now. In the town I grew up in. Nice to meet ya. I'm Tsubaki. Y you too. I'm Hikaru. Town I made all my memories in growing up. Wait. Uh, okay, that's that's worded really weirdly. Was this all going to vanish? Um, I, I think that should be like, the town I grew up in, was it all going to vanish? I'm worried about my family. I'm scared that sooner or later, the shadow will take someone I love. Your family must be worried too. I need you to leave. What? You've spoken enough. It's been nice talking, but you need to leave now. Tsubaki, what are you going on about? I'm asking you to leave! Just go! Tsubaki, why? I I'm sorry I angered you, but what did I do? Stop asking questions and just leave! Okay. What, is she inhabited? Or what what's going on? I'm leaving. Man, everything's, um... It was so cheery in the beginning, and now everything's just turning around. Family. Oh, hey, Suki, what's up? Hey, hey Hikaru. S Suki, what's the matter? It's... It's Dad. Oh, no, don't tell me. Oh, man. Oh, no. He's gone. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> oh, he wasn't even that old. He was not even that old. What? Hikaru. Wait, where are you going? Don't go into the forest. Please don't go into the forest. Please don't go into the forest. H Hikaru. Don't tell me he's gone into the forest. Before I knew it, I was sprinting away from my sister, tears trailing down my face. I didn't know what to do at this point. I felt like dying. My father was gone. He was one of the people who taught me how to walk, to speak, and to be happy. Things took a turn for the worst. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't contain my sadness. I just couldn't. It was all too much. I just kept wishing death upon myself. What Suki said about that shadow, the demon, the village demon. What was its motives for murdering my father? Did it really just want power? After minutes and minutes of running, I'd finally stopped. However, tears still streamed down my face, felt dead inside, but I know mum's feeling worse. She blamed herself for all of this, and she was in just as much grief. I locked myself in my room for days on end, hadn't come out since. I just kept thinking about the village demon. And my father? The people who fell victim to the village demon, they were no strangers. The others, they were friends and family. They were important to them. I want everything to end. I hope not everything, because that would be bad. Man, this game is getting so sad. He could do. A lot of cutscenes, though. Not much gameplay. At the moment, at least. At least it's a break from, like, the horror elements. Because, uh, those can get quite spoopy at times. Still no answer.
Okay. What now? Hikaru won't even leave his room anymore. What have I done? If only I stayed with Dad. Stay re around others. I neglected my own advice. Huh? Oh, that's right. The house. East of the town. I can go there. <laughs> what am I saying? Dad is gone because he was alone by himself. And here I am suggesting leaving town on my own to find that house. I'm gonna go meet up with Daisuke. I still have yet to tell him about the shadow. Okay. A few days had passed after the death of our father, but nothing had changed. Hikaru was still holed up in his room. My mum was still in grief. She refused to leave her room too. Our family was torn apart. Hikaru's smiling days were over. And, including Daisuke and Tsubaki, we were all starting to grow distant. My only hope was that the cliffside trip we planned would be a remedy. Another save point, jeez. Is this act just complete cutscenes? So that's why I wanted to tell you. I see. A shadow's power is terrifying. Where is this? Actually, no, this is Daisuke's room, never mind. And even now, I feel like it's grown stronger and stronger. It's hard to find the motivation to continue researching after, after my dad's passing. But I know Hikaru's handling it worse. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, this is probably a bad time to ask, but... Do you want to have breakfast here? I haven't eaten yet. No, it's not a bad time. I'm kind of hungry myself. Alright. You mind if I head out to get some breakfast? No, not at all. Another transition. Oh, we're playing as Daisuke now. Any kind of meal was fine by me. And the music's quite nice. The door is locked. What room is that? Why is it locked? Is it a bedroom? If so, whose bedroom? Is it Kasumi's bedroom? Offering all my condolences to Suke and her family. Can we read the notes? Hey, we found author's notes number four. Let's give him a read. This is a big game with lots of dialogue. Do you still remember the other tip I provided? Interact with things twice and explore the area thoroughly. You may find a few neat pieces of story or your demise. Well, it's not like anything can kill you, right? What if we read the notes twice? Okay. Uh, let's save the game here because finally we can move and stuff. And... Another transition. We could have head to the shop ourselves, but okay, whatever. Hey there, what can I do for you? Yeah, um, I'd like two pack lunches. I'm quite hungry. Well, okay, that'll be 10,000 yen. Oh, how embarrassing. I forgot my wallet. Oh. Get out. <laughs> oh my God, just kidding. <laughs> hmm. What is this? Oh, that? It's something I got abroad. It's a ring? Yep, but I have no use for it, so I figured I'd put it up for sale. Interesting. What a nice looking ring. Maybe I should get this for Suki if I save up enough. Um. Oh, right, sorry. I don't think I'll be able to buy anything right now. So go get your wallet. Hey, I'll give you these box lunches for free. Oh, okay. But really? Why not? These lunches aren't fresh batch and I only sell fresh food, but... I mean, it's still edible, so I shouldn't let it go to waste. Obtain breakfast for two. Thank you so much. Take care. And another transition. I wonder how much 10,000 yen is. It's probably something ridiculous. Um... Actually, I will check now about how much 10,000 yen is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so according to uh, Google Translate, 
10,000 Japanese yen is $120 in Australian currency, or if you convert it to USD, it's $90. Ninety dollars for a lunch for two. It's like what? I get that it's a remote village, but Jesus! All right, what's happening here? That was a nice breakfast. Mm-hmm. It was. What was the breakfast? Was it just bread? By the way, I saw this really neat ring at the store today. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, apparently he did. Ah, uh, he did. Cool. Got it abroad. I'm sure she could sell it for a lot. A ring. Yes. So, Daisuke, are you looking forward to the cliffside trip? Only a few more days. Of course. These past few days have been a little devoid of enjoyment. So I'm really looking forward to it. Great. Looking forward to it too. I. I'm hoping that this trip will help brighten Hikaru's spirits. So, um, if it doesn't, then, then, I don't know. Don't worry, Suki. I'm sure Hikaru will have fun too. You're right. No doubt. Well, I'm gonna get going. Thanks again for the breakfast, Neko. Okay. Lovely cutscenes and cutscenes. A few days had passed, and the time for the cliffside, cliffside trip had arrived. Deep down, we were hoping that this cliffside trip would bring all of us back together, like in the past. Alright, Daisuke. Alright, it's time to head up to the cliffside. Everyone's waiting for me. Alright, let's go! Oh, we can save the game. Alright, might want to do that. Now we can go up. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, it won't be long now. Let me guess, we're going to encounter the ghost. And by ghost, I mean Mira Oni. You are now entering Aino outskirts. Another save point? Huh? Why is he saying huh? Dude, why are you saying huh? Is someone there? Hello? Dude, okay, you're freaking me out, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm not controlling it. Well, the cliff. It's been a while since I've been here. Forgot how tall it was. Well, time to climb this bad boy. Please say caution you should climb up the cliffside. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? We're gonna encounter the Muroni. Oh, uh, let's go. Uh, I'm starting to walk slower. Oh, uh, come on. Almost there. Come on. We can make it. Just a little bit more. Come on. Uh, almost! There! Come on! Oh, we made it! I made it! Well, am I out of shape? Yeah, I get you, dude. Okay. Everything's nice, bright, and sunny. So, nothing bad should be happening, right? But what do you mean by is someone there? Okay, someone's deaf. Or something's definitely following me. I should probably hurry it up. I am hurrying it up. I'm going as fast as I damn well can. Oh, that's pretty ominous. Wow, the view from up here is so nice. I'm almost there, just a few more minutes of walking. <gasps> I don't think we have a couple more minutes. Still following me. Okay, got another save point. Why do we have three save points and like. Less than five minutes. Oh, hey everyone! Hey, Neko, we were waiting on you. Uh, oh, you were? Sorry, my bad. Well, I'm here now. Well, come on over. Thank you for coming, everyone. Lately, we've been so stressed out that we never had any time to just hang out anymore. And recently, we've been through a lot of things, concerning the shadow, right? Everyone nodded. They all agreed. I wasn't wrong. All of us had been through something involving the shadow. So 
Tsubaki attested to seeing the shadow kill Katsuro that one night. The shadow killed our father, which left Hikaru in a state of depression. I've coped with, with it a little better than Hikaru, but even so, it's still terrible. In Daisuke, back then, in the mansion, I felt like the shadow influenced his decisions. And then later on, when Daisuke had a terrible encounter with the shadow after locating Fumiko. Well, today I'm hoping we can enjoy our time here. Our summer vacation is slipping away from us. We're losing time to have fun. You can say that again. But yeah. Let's make this a memorable day, no matter what happens in the future. Let's start with the game. Hide and seek. If you're caught, you have to help find the others. Sounds like fun. But it depends on how well you can hide this time, Daisuke. Okay, Subaki, you can be it first. Well, well. Okay. Alrighty then, shall we start? Okay, you guys, shoo. Come on, Hikaru, go. Shoo. Hikaru. That means you too. Come on. Move it, you slowpoke. That's it. Get those legs working. Alright, time to count to ten. Ten? Oh! Dear. Oh no. Not now. <gasps> uh, ow! Oh no, she didn't die, did she? What did it do to me? Wait, what? I looked down at the back of my hand and found an ominous marking. I've never seen it before. Is this the mark? That's, um, yeah, it was Suki was talking about. The shadow must have put it on my hand. As Suki told me, the mark could have been various, could have various effects. From paired movement or something I didn't read. I found myself worrying frantically. Oh no. This mark. No, no, calm down. It's alright. I have to calm down. Who knows, maybe the mark's effects won't be as bad as stasis. But maybe I should just focus on finding the others. What happens if I go back here? I cannot go back there. Uh, okay. Hopefully my insanity doesn't cause me to start seeing things. Alright, time to find everyone. This should be easy, right? Hope it's easy, because otherwise this is going to take a damn long time. I remember last time in episode 2, I think it was. It took me a little while. I had to cut out a bunch of footage. Alright, this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button and leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next video.